the Madman. Welcome, we finish the Paladin Reveals for March of the Lich King today, and we got some Warlock stuff. We start with what may possibly be the single most powerful card in a vacuum in the set. Flight of the Bronze, one mana, discover a dragon, mana thirst seven, summon a five five drake with taunt. Look at the flavor text on this thing. You're telling me Hearthstone will make a one mana five five with taunt, maybe when bronze flies. Uh, so they didn't really, uh, they didn't really nail the joke part of it, but that's a one mana five five with taunt. You know, way back in the day, and I mean really far back in the day, if a seven mana five five dragon with taunt was printed, which discovered a dragon. That might actually be a card, but this card, it costs one mana. That's a six mana, six mana discount on the hypothetical seven mana card. This card is insane. I, there's just no other place to say it. And like, when I'm a death knight, and I'm a blood death knight, I'm gonna wish I could play Flight of the Bronze in my deck. It's a little bit jealous. Uh, all of my control decks, all of my mid range decks, all of my value decks. I want to run this card, but unfortunately, to run the card, I have to play Paladin. This card does not have to be run in a Dragon deck. This card can just be run in any mid range or control deck. But there is a payoff to the card on top of just being a good control or value card. Uh, we got some dragons here, uh, three other dragons to go with that Dragon Discover. Uh, Time Warden, 4 minute 3 5 Dragon, Battlecry. Until the end of your next turn, dragons you summon gain Taunt and Divine Shield. It's so obviously a really hard card to evaluate until you see all the dragons uh, alongside it. Obviously, you'd want to run this in a deck with a lot of dragons in order to get the benefit. Quick mention, of course, to the neutral dragon, which will slot into dragon themes perfectly, the Amber Whelp. The 3-3-3 dragon, which deals 3 if you're holding a dragon. That's uh, practically a Paladin mascot card. Anyways, Time Warden, uh, you're going to play this, and then you're going to want to drop another dragon. Perhaps that card makes Daring Drake look better. Uh, Daring Drake, a 4 mana 4-4 four, four dragon with Rush. Battlecry, if you're holding a dragon, gain plus 1, plus 1. Now, before we all laugh at this card, uh, for the holding of a dragon being only plus 1, plus 1, and the card maxing out as a 4 mana 5-5 five, five with Rush. Okay, that, that is kind of funny. But perhaps, perhaps, in the playtesting, it was found that when that card combined with Taunt and Divine Shield, like maybe it was too powerful. Anyways, that's all I can say about that, really. Uh, so these two cards appear to be the incentive to run a Dragon Paladin deck at the moment. And for that reason, I cannot, I cannot advise you to run a Dragon Paladin deck at this moment. But hey, we have the Legendary Dragon to top it all off. This de definitely does not have to be run in a Dragon Paladin. Uh, you got a Nacrono, 7 mana, 8-8 eight, eight, Dragon. Bellacry send all other minions two turns into the future. Uh, how does that work, you might ask? Glad you asked. So you play Anachronos, all minions on the board disappear, and then uh, in two of your turns, they will all reappear. In the case that there isn't enough space on the board, then the ones that, you know, came later onto the board are the ones that do not reappear on the board. They reappear as they were, uh, and when they disappear, no death rattles are triggered, no enter the game, battle cries are triggered when they come back, no summoned effects are triggered, to my knowledge. Well, yeah, uh, it's essentially a two-turn freeze. Given how strong Snowfall Guardian was, uh, Anachronos is basically two-turn Snowfall Guardian on a big stat minion, so in a control deck, a uh, control deck that runs equality and city tax or consecration or carryal, so... Being able to delay the opponent's stuff for you to equality Karyl could be really good. This card also clears the board for you to play Karyl, so that you know you can actually play Karyl and not die the turn you play Karyl, uh, because you skip all the damage that normally would have been dealt to you on turn 7, thanks to the freeze. Now one of the cool things is, you can use this to hide a combo piece. Uh, for example, on turn 10 you can do Bran Anachronos, uh, and then your Bran is sent two turns into the future. So 
in two turns in the future, perhaps you have your Denathrius planned out, and then Bran comes back, you play Denathrius, you get the double battle cry on it, maybe you win the game with that. That might be a common finishing tactic for Paladin. By the way, if you Bran Anachronos, there is no special effect that happens when this battle cry is doubled. I think Anachronos and Flight of the Bronze will be excellent additions to the uh, Paladin control deck. Warlock had a discard package revealed, uh, which revolves around Walking Dead. 3 mana 2, 5, Undead. Taunt, if you discard this minion, summon it. So this is Silverware Golem, a little bit better, and basically you want to discard this card. Real quick, the other cards you're going to want to discard alongside Walking Dead. Uh, you might have forgotten about these because they were printed and then we said, well, oh, this is clearly a setup for the future when there will be more discard support printed. Uh, so Suffocating Shadows wants to be discarded for a deadly shot. High Priestess Jekyllick wants to be discarded for more Jekyllick. Uh, that's about it. So now you know the stuff you want to discard uh, alongside Soul Barrage. So this card, 5 mana Shadow Spell, when you play or discard this, deal 6 damage randomly split among all enemies. You certainly don't want to play this, you want to discard it. So how are you going to discard these cards? Well, you've got Scourge Supplies, uh, 3 mana, draw 3 cards, choose 1 to discard. This is actually a card that looks pretty decent. Um, a lot of classes that aren't Warlock would run this. Warlock unfortunately already has pretty good card draw. Uh, it is better than Arcane Intellect certainly because drawing three cards and choosing one to discard is quite a lot better than drawing two cards. Uh, lets you discard the worst of the three. By the way, the technology is finally here to choose one of the things to discard. Uh, very cool. Uh, and this seems like it's going to be the main catalyst for the deck at the moment, because this allows you to choose. But, is this good enough to make a discard deck? No, I would say. Uh, you really need quite a lot of discard effects and quite a lot of discard payoffs to make discard good. Uh, and the problem is, I don't think there's enough of either one. So here's another good discard card. You got Savage Mirjar, five mana, seven, seven, undead, rush, battle cry, discard two cards. So yeah, pretty good card. Good stats for the cost, and discards cards as well, which could be an upside. I mean, it's it's good in the discard deck, but maybe there's not enough stuff to discard, and maybe there's not enough discarders to discard the stuff you want to discard, of which there aren't enough of. Finally, you have Amorphous Slime, targeted discard, 5 mana, 5, 3. Battle card, discard a random undead, death rattle summon a copy of it. So the goal would be to uh, discard a big undead card, so you can summon a copy of it with the slime. When you look at all the big undead cards, uh, you got Invincible, you have the 9 mana really bad undead card. Uh, you, you should not build a deck around this uh, combo idea. So at the end of the day, it seems like you're using Amorphous Slime to target Walking Dead for a discard, or perhaps the 5 mana 7-7 seven, seven rush. Uh, then you don't get the downside of discarding two cards. It all kind of works together. Uh, at the same time, I think it's just not good enough. There's not enough payoff to run the discarders, and there's not enough discard outlets in order to run the discard lovers. So we say the same thing that we say many times when we see a bunch of discard synergy in a set. Uh, this is a setup for the next set to give even more discard synergy, and then maybe we'll have a deck. So that's my current stance on this.